So as I told you earlier, here the key to make this uh, this chatbot very smart is to add as many uh, responses as possible because you want you you need to uh, you need to train your chatbot on a lot of responses. You need to make it fluent. You need to train it and you need to teach it with as many responses as possible, and also with responses that uh, you uh, that uh, that will be. Uh, that will depend upon the goal of creating that chatbot. So if your chatbot is to serve your business, then of course you need to have here questions or statements and answers that uh, are related to your business. If you want to answer scientific questions about a specific topic or whatever it is, so you need to know your goal so that you you know how you know which responses to add to this array. So the more here, the more the better. However, sometimes you might want to have a lot of conversations and in order to create that conversation conversation or conversations it's going to take you a lot of time of course and fortunately this library provides us with conversations that other people have already created so conversations from hundreds and hundreds of people so you, we can get all of these conversations already created conversations and train our chatbot immediately with these conversations so our chatbot is going to be smart very quickly and will learn very quickly uh, because of these conversations but again this uh, this is useful in case you want to have a conversation based chatbot so let me show you how you can do that how you can train your chatbot with conversations that other people have created and these conversations are huge there are many many of them and you can use them immediately so in order to use these conversations we need to import the uh, we need to import the uh, chatterbot core bus so in order to use these conversations we need to import the chatter uh, bot corpus trainer so at the top here at the top what I'm gonna do is that I'm gonna add here a comma and then I'm gonna say chatter chatter bot chatter bot corpus uh, trainer and of course you need to install the chatter uh, bot corpus and I have already shown you that you can go back to the tutorial where I explain how to install the chatter uh, uh, bot corpus and then what we need to do is that we need to use this chatter bot corpus. So how can we use this chatter bot cor uh, corpus? To use it, all we need to do is that we just need here to create an object of that of of that chatter bot uh, corpus. So here I'm going to say chatter uh, bot corpus trainer, and then this this chatter bot uh, chatter bot corpus trainer takes the bot takes the Remember the bot that I created earlier, the chatbot uh, uh, object. And then we need to store it in a variable. So I'm going to store it in a variable called chatter bot core bus trainer. So it's going to be equal, the chatter bot cor corpus trainer is going to be equal to the chatter uh, bot uh, corpus trainer object. And now we need to use it. So in or in, instead of training, instead of here training our chat uh, bot using the list trainer, we need to train it using using the chatter bot corpus trainer. So to do that, I'm going to remove this for now. We no longer need the list trainer uh, because I, I'm not going to be using this. I'm going to comment this out, and I'm going to also comment this out because I don't need this for now. Instead, what I'm going to do is that I'm going to use the chatter bot corpus trainer. I'm going to say chatter let me copy it because it's easier and then i'm going to paste it here and then and then what i'm going to do is that i'm going to call a function called train train and what what exactly do we do we need to train the chatter uh, bot corpus trainer on we need to train it on conversations that people have created and that can be done by passing here a string so the string is chat is is uh, chatter chatterbot dot corpus dot english because we want to train it on english language conversations let me now save and let's run our application so as you can see it's very simple it's very simple because this is just gonna contain a lot of uh, a lot of uh, conversations 
let me now save and let me restart the server here as you can see it says performing system checks you need to wait until the chat bot has been trained successfully so let me wait here until this is finished it takes some time because uh, this time it's going to take time because it's being the chatbot is going to be trained on a lot of converse, conversations and this is going to take time as you can see unlike before before it was super super fast it took like three seconds now it's going to take some time because it's being trained on tons and tons of conversations we are talking about uh, like thousands of lines here as you can see these are the topics we are the the chat but but now is being trained on conversations about uh, just casual conversations about computers about ai about a lot of things and here it's going to show you the topics here and the things that the the uh the chatbot is going to be trained uh with so here it says uh emotion so many many things let me wait until this is finished so you need to to be a little bit patient because it's gonna take time and it could be a little bit uh, boring but it pays off because the chat bot is gonna be super super smart and it's gonna be able to kind of answer any question or any or respond to any uh, to any uh, statement that the user is gonna say here it says health greetings uh, gossip food health history humor many many things and each one of these contains a lot of information a lot of conversation a lot of responses so let me wait let me wait and by the way uh, you might be wondering why would we use our own uh, array anymore if we have all of these conversations well these conversations are very helpful but if you want to have a custom chatbot, you need to create your own conversation. So this is perfect if you just don't care about uh, the specific conversation that you want to have with your users or customers. But if you want to answer and respond with, with specific conversations, then you need to create your own uh, array as I have shown you earlier. And my recommendation is to know, again, to know your goal. I emphasize this because this is very important. If you know your goal, everything else will be uh, very easy. So as you can see now, it has been trained successfully. Let's now test it. So I'm going to head on over to the browser, and, and now I'm going to refresh. And I'm going to say here things that I haven't, uh, I haven't uh, said before, and random things.